Hey guys, it's me, Sarah. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about makeup because I'm going to school for Kiss and Makeup in Agora Hills over there by the Cannon Club. Uh, so, up in there in Agora Hills in California, Los Angeles County. And today, I'm gonna to be doing my foundation palette. This is my foundation palette. And this is a uh, little uh, makeup sponge thing that I got for like $3 on on uh, eBay, I remember, I believe it was a couple years ago. This I got from Morphe. I don't really like using the darker colors. I like using the lighter colors. As you can tell, I used the first one and the second one. So I mostly like to just use the first one and blend it in with the second one. So I did the first one, which you can tell is this one right here. The first one. You see it? Yes, my brushes is clean. May not look clean, but it is clean. You always want to have light on. It's never good to do makeup without lighting. Because lighting is the key to makeup. If you don't have good lighting, your makeup won't be that great. You always want to like blend it out. You always want to start with like the base, like the chin and the, the forehead and then work your way around. That's just how I taught myself. Everyone's different. Yes, I need to get another palette because mine is running out. I'm going to be learning like different kinds of foundations. So hopefully I will like theirs as well. But everyone has their own preferences. You can do different types of foundation. You can do more than one ways of foundation. There's lots of different ways to wear your makeup. You can wear your makeup however you want. There's no right way to do makeup, but there's always a better way to do makeup. You never want to rub it in too much because then it'll look smeared and it will look blotchy. Always like, you know, just lightly rub it or pat it. Patting it and going in circular motions is better. Yes, sometimes it will get on your clothes. You just want to be careful about that. It's okay if it does get on your clothes, just like brush it off lightly. Because sometimes makeup can dry out. But it can still be moist on the inside. <laughs> If you know what I mean, like some makeup is very flaky. So I did number one, now I'm gonna do number two. As you see here, I got my number two, it's almost gone. Now I'm just gonna blend that in on the base. I take my number two and I blend it in on the base. So I did that, as you can see, looks good, huh? Always wanna make sure. Oh, blend in under the eyes. Okay. Just random. This is my primer, my lash primer. I 
would do the fake eyelashes, but I'm not good at them, so I'm not going to do them. Because I'm, I'm going to be learning how to do fake eyelashes. I'm not that good at makeup, but I am good. I'll get better with them. This is Lash Primer from Estee Lauder. Let that dry for a bit. Let me find my oh here it is my my Mac highlighter, my Mac Pro Long Wear. put on the, the Pro Long Wear, you always want to, this is brand new, I just got this, but actually I'm going to finish off my other one, because I don't want to use my new one right now, because I still have plenty of my other ones, so yes. See it? Not too much. It's always good to get your eyebrows done, like waxing. Waxing is so good for you because you don't want to look bushy. I just got my eyebrows waxed not too long ago, so make sure you get waxed. You always want to make sure it's blended in. And you might want to make sure you clean your brushes. Because it's very bad if you don't clean your brushes. You should clean them like every time you use them or like once or twice a week. This is my mascara. But first, I'm going to use... I love... This one. This is from Sephora. It's an eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use this one. So I'm using this one right here. And this one right here. You never want to put um, 
I shadow it until you can tell this is mostly dry. The primer is mostly dry. And you see I'm just outlining the ends, like the base, the corners. Since it's light, I'm just going to blow it off. I want to use, let's see, this darker color. Well, medium to dark color. On the top. I did that. Now I'm going to use this metal color. This one right here, it's more like a mahogany, like burgundy-ish color. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's like a reddish brownish color. Maybe a ton of pink. Sorry if I sound weird, I'm getting over sinus. And my class is from 6 to 10. You always want to make sure you get the excess off from the edges. You don't want blotches. And then you're going to blend it in. Circular motions. So I did that. Again, this is from Sephora. I love Sephora. And this is from Estee Lauder. I don't really like to use this brush because I just don't. I like this one because it blends in better, looks better. So when you do the root,
and I don't really use an eye lip. I don't really use um, eye pencil or lip pencil because I'm going to be learning how to use all of that. That's all new to me. I just never used it. One, I just didn't. And this is an Estee Lauder. I like to put this one. Underneath. So I put that eyeshadow underneath. And then I'm gonna put this. This one's getting dried out, but it's not quite dried out. It's from Estee Lauder as well. And this one holds your makeup up in place when you're all done. So you don't want to use that until you're all done. Sometimes I like to use these sponges for doing my makeup, but today I didn't do it because I wanted to do my other brush. This is the lipstick I'm going to be using. You don't want to put too much in the corner. Sometimes it will look bad. You never want to put too much lipstick on. That's the key. Look at this. Oops, it's locked. No, it's not locked. Why isn't it coming out? Sometimes it doesn't come out, so you have to like, kind of like force it out. So 
sometimes if it doesn't come out, I like... I use this. If it doesn't come out, and I just do it here. One. And I just put it on the base. I did that. I'm not gonna put it in my makeup bag because I don't want it leaking. And this is my highlighter. Thank you for watching. Peace.